Hey guys, I'm Rio Dan. And I'm Otaku Kent, and if I sound strange, it's because my head, stuffed, my head is stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. And we're also not using the mic either. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I have pollen allergies. <laughs> Same here, but I have medicine. I don't. Extra strength. Well, I do, but they don't help. It's hard for a big boy like you. <laughs> You're bigger than me. You're taller than I am. Yeah. And broader than I am. <laughs> and heavier than I am. Dependable. You're just calling me out left and right, ain't you? Hey, you're calling me big boy. But uh, anyway, how are you feeling besides all the allergies? Uh, I'm stuffed. I had a bowl of ramen made from a restaurant. It had bone broth. We had a uh, Thai chicken. Hmm. That we made ourselves. It's a little better than what I had, though. <laughs> I mean, I you could have used a bit more of a kick, but I mean, it was okay. Yeah, my ramen. First time at another restaurant of, of doing ramen. We used to go to Kennesaw. To get ramen. All the way out there. The ramen there is actually pretty good. The it's moment, good, but I hate the traffic out there. Yeah, same here. Of course, everybody hates traffic. Yeah. But the yoza, the pot stickers were good. The sauce for it was nice, sweet, and tangy. But, anyways. Uh, also, I want to apologize. Uh, we want to apologize for the last two weeks of being just disappearing. Yeah. Schedules just haven't worked out, plus me working, plus him doing some overtime. It just kind of didn't work out in our favor so we just kind of took a little hiatus but yeah we honestly did need to take a break from the videos for a good while otherwise we probably would have uh, went burnout well i mean we were able to pump what two three videos out that other day yeah so i mean <clears throat> those uh those will continue very shortly as well yep but on to the news <laughs> First up on the list, Florida Parks mask mandates. So, the Disney Parks and Universal have all said, now, you don't have to wear a mask outside, but they are requiring you to wear a mask in lines for rides and in buildings, which I'm okay with. Same here. Because uh, wearing a mask in Florida summer heat, that's just asking for a heat stroke. Yeah, you really won't be able to breathe on that one. <laughs> What's the matter? My mask is on too much sweat. Sweat, humidity, rain, Florida. I mean, I don't know if you tried this before in the shower. If you take a washcloth, put it over your face, just hug it to you, it's hard to breathe through. That's what a mask with so much sweat would be like in Florida. I never had that issue. My, my Apparently, my nose is the perfect shape to hold it and giving me enough room to not feel claustrophobic. Mm. Plus, I wore a strap because I was smart. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm curious what the next step is going to be. They've already reduced... Uh, uh, distancing to three feet. Mm. So the next step probably would be uh, in restaurants first. I can't imagine the rides being first. Just because of the way things are. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just hope no one starts looking at the doorknobs now. Give it time. Wait, 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 doorknobs! Licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. <laughs> All right. So, next up on the list. Skyward Sword Amiibo, which is Zelda and her Loftwing. It looks beautiful. It's got a very weird ability that a lot of people are considering it game-breaking. I find it to be easier than trying to go find a damn statue. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no, no, I like this. Keep this. Even in dungeons, because they did that in, in Twilight Princess, and it worked well. With yeah. That one. Of course, you got it later on in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. However, it worked well in case you, oh, I'm out of quivers. I'm out of arrows. I needed some health potions. I got all these arrows, but no quivers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to fight me with? With this. That, uh -huh. this would be, oh, no, I got the arrow, but not the bow. I want this to happen in D&D so bad right now. <laughs> so pull out a bow and arrow, but I forgot the bow? Yes. <laughs> just, uh -huh. have, just have the arrow. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? <laughs> oh, my eye! <laughs> <sighs> That would be so hilarious. Yeah. But uh, only one problem with the uh, with the Amiibo, and a lot of people have said it, scalpers. Yeah. Which is a big problem for a lot of Amiibos. Especially, is this one going to be limited run? Uh, probably. It's yeah. probably going to have one run and then never again. Yeah, which is dumb. Uh, and, you know. I mean, this. when was the last Amiibo that came out? Let's be honest. For Smash Brothers? Not before, not including Smash Brothers. Like something original. Twilight Princess HD, I believe, which was... A while back. A while back on the Wii U. 
Anyways, yes. They need to come back out with one of the Switch. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't think Amiibo's going to be around for much longer. Uh, they're still useful. I still have a bunch of them. Yeah, they're right here. Those are my Amiibos? Yeah, we immediately borrow them for... Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, for Breath of the Wild. <laughs> no, I really don't. It's okay. It's been a while. It's been a good while. Um, but, yeah, hopefully uh, game stores and uh, other stores are going to be, you know little tighter with these amiibos you the, know uh, the stores that i go to killer finds they, they're gonna try to get me one so <laughs> they're expanding they are yeah they're getting the room next door yes i was hoping they would do that uh wait on the on their on so you're facing the door to the right all those rooms to the left going from them to the chinese place mm -hmm. it's becoming a burlington coat factory so they're getting the bigger room I, so if you're outside looking at the door to Killer Finds. To Killer Finds. Yes. Next door to the right is what they're expanding into. Okay. That works well. Yeah. Uh, they're thinking about if this goes well enough, they'll expand a third time. Sweet. A second time, I mean. Uh, and then, yeah. So, Burlington Goat Factory is actually... I know this is random, but we're random blast. Yeah. Uh, Burlington Goat Factory is actually not just, you know, because they're not just knocking down walls. They're actually building up and back. Really? So, it's going to be about the size of Academy. Wow. Yeah, but that's going to be a process. I'd be a big process, but hey, at least our Nile Nerdy place is getting bigger. Yep. It was. I remember it like it was last year when it came to be. It was like a year and a half, two years. Two years, because it was Halloween when they opened up, put out the bath, uh, and then. Man, two years just went by like that. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the owner still doesn't remember my name. He just remembers me as Mario. I'm just like, just call me Mario. I mean, to, to, that's all you know me as. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, though. I mean, his wife, uh, Cass, I couldn't have... I, I had my moments where I completely forget her name. Oh, there are moments I forget, I forget everybody's name. It'd be like, hey! The only reason I can remember Mike's name is because Michael. I mean, I have a cousin named Michael. Yeah. I have a friend named Michael. I, I, I know a lot of Michaels. Yeah. Not as many Joshes, but that's neither here or there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Hooray! Hopefully, uh, Skyward. Hopefully, Skyward Sword Amiibo. You know, yeah, doesn't get scalped. I'm not gonna lie though. I am excited for the Burlington Coat Factory. I need a new suit. <laughs> Do you know when the last time I bought a suit was? Someday, way in the far past, when you were small, my grandfather was still alive. Wow, that's uh, that's a long time. Yeah. All right. Next up on the list, Amphibia Season 3 Intro. Okay, so he has not seen the end of Season 2. In fact, he hasn't seen any of Season 2 yet. I've seen bits. Bits. Uh, I'm waiting until it comes out on Disney Plus just so I can... Yeah, same here. I'm actually watching the first season right now to actually watch every single episode. Uh, however, at the end of Season 2, I don't really know what's going on. Superpowers. That... <coughs> They showed the intro for the next season. And it did the one thing that a lot of TV shows of someone going to the world does not do. They reverse isekai Reverse isekai Almost like how Digimon kind of did. Yeah. Tried in to the do. First, in the first tried series. Tried to do. Tried to do. Uh, I'm going to say this right now. It is pretty awesome to see them basically do the same thing, but in the human world, where uh, Sprig is looking, <laughs> looking at the ice cream cone. He goes, <laughs> falls down. Uh, the girl's parents like chuckle at that. The <laughs> girl, uh, hop hop. <laughs> uh, also, the little um, uh, Polly, she has legs. Yeah, I mean, it was about time. Yeah, and I do find it funny how the cat <laughs> Domino really looks like that killer pillar. <laughs> it's like, wow, <laughs> just like the killer pillar right there trying to eat Polly. <laughs> Uh, so far, it looks like there's been a big twist of a character from the season two. Uh, looks like there's going to be an invasion from Amphibia. <clears throat> or from one of the cities. Yeah. And it looks like, um, oh, I just watched a series earlier. I cannot remember the human girl's name. Anne? Moment. That's it. Anne. Ugh, she goes funny. super froggy saiyan. <laughs> she goes super saiyan blue somehow. It's, not, it's from the box, I, I call it, I call it super froggy saiyan. But it's from the box itself. Like, the box... Yeah. Gave like, her powers. Gave her powers. Her hair turns blue, and she is literally... And her eyes change a different color. Yeah. They turn blue as well. I don't remember that. I thought it was yellow. Anyways. 
but she just she just jumping around literally like a super saiyan. Like, <laughs> Where did this anime thing come out of? <laughs> Uh, alongside that, we did get news that, uh, we will be getting Owl House Season 2 soon. Oh, that's what I wanted to put down as well. I forgot it on, on there. And, uh, the third season's been confirmed, but it's gonna be three, uh, specials. Which I'm kind of sad about, uh... For Owl House? For Owl House. Because uh, I feel like they could have explored a lot with Owl House. Yeah. <clears throat> they could have. Honestly, I wish they could do a crossover between Amphibia and Owl House. It'd be weird. But honestly, it would have to be during season three of uh, of Amphibia. Yeah, because that's when they're hopping worlds. <laughs> All right, what's next? Is that it? That is it. All right. Well, guys, I'm still drugged up on Benadryl, so I'm a Tucker Kent. I'm review it, Dan. Hope you all had a blast. Don't, we love you guys. Don't forget to love each other. I'm gonna go pass out. Don't forget to stay random. Peace out.